Our tale of the tape now for this featherweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters. Well, it's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, even for a Boston guy. I have levels of appreciation for the building. I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chilled because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty with double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Good stick. And they separate. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single. Well, Tia hit outside. Just two for a while. Oh, he takes it from behind. What a fantastic takedown. And this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions. Oh! Oh! And now he lands a combination. Well, shades of Cormier against Dan Henderson back in the day just slammed his opponent to the ground. I mean, just slammed him, lifted him up, and almost treated him like a baby. If you can pick a guy up off his feet, it's so discouraging for men that are used to being the alphas in all situations. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Back to the feet now. Got the single collar tie. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Oh, a huge block there. Whoa! up again you gotta like that great punch landing with so much power and both guys really throwing with authority oh single collar tie here stuff to take down no problem and they separate oh overhand to the dome oh, oh he's hurt bad he's hurt bad john he's gotta press it he's gotta go take that finish down now he's in trouble he's getting lit up John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu too much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Eddie. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Good punch. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, the octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue to him. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about to fight. Is in an elbow there. Trying to stay in this fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, big. He's in trouble. Oh! He's in! Oh! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, 
exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest. Declaring the winner by...